going on YouTube welcome back to another video in this video we are going to be playing on the new November 4th uh, Thursday Madden 22 patch if you want to see the full details of the patch I'll leave a link in the description go ahead and check it out um, and you know just check out all the full details for the most part you know I'll obviously be telling you like some of the major stuff but besides that um, you could go ahead and check it out but what they did change delay fades no more they're out see you later speed burst no more so go ahead and say see you later to the speed burst and then last but not least i'm pretty sure they did buff up the cover three zones to where they don't give up a one play touchdown so i don't know if you know they're re you know reacting better to everything else or more as if it's just you know protecting the deep bomb but you know we're gonna play today and we're gonna find out so the big three things guys that you need to remember no more speed burst which is huge man um, and I'll talk about it obviously in the video no more delay fades, which is also huge So one big thing on offense one big thing on defense and then a zone buff to the thirds where they play the deep bombs better Let's get into the gameplay and see what it's talking about. So for me guys patch days are very exciting um, I definitely just this is my first game of the day. I'm about to be playing just a little bit of mutt head to head It's my Super Bowl, but before that I want to show you my team but like I was saying, patch days are super exciting for me. The whole game changes. And, you know, as of uh, this point, I really hadn't been enjoying Madden, Madden too much. You know, it's fun. But as a competitor standpoint, you know, I need to see some changes. Hopefully the changes I see today, you know, somewhat help me out. But here we go with the abilities. Uh, slot Apprentice on TY for two. Outside Apprentice on Moss for two. Route Tech Slot. Jerry Rice for two. Identifier two and then last but not least gunslinger josh allen this is all subject to change um just abilities i'm trying out on defense acrobat unpredictable acrobat unpredictable acrobat with mid zone charles and jesse bates both have acro mid zone they'll be playing up top ronnie lott and cam on the outsides mike hands in the slot i do not have jc horn yet do not laugh at me see my abilities or my uh chemistries 50 raiders and all these speed boosts, all that good stuff. And last but not least, we are going to be running Colts offense and multiple defense. Basically, 4-6 defense is the same as multiple. We're running 3-3-5 three, three, wide today. People are saying it's going to come back. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, definitely could see a lot more people running it now that delay fades are gone. Because that really did kill wide before. Um, hopefully, they, you know, these uh, uh, D-line abilities I have start shedding. And make wide a little bit more runnable and easy to run. But yeah, I'm running four, three, three, five wide. I'm gonna be running three, three, five to three, three, five wide. Uh, I'm super comfortable in it. I've been running it for two years now. So let's just get in the gameplay. Before we do that, always gotta check the record, check the full stats. Boom! Look at that record. Um, like I was saying, my you know MCS season hasn't been going to plan, but you know I still got a nice little record on head to head, 323 and 40. I will say I hadn't been playing as much as I had in the first month or two of the game. Um, so that's going to change. You're going to see me a lot on the Mutt Head Dead Seasons. It's honestly great reps um, and you get coins out of it. You see on the top corner, 203,000 coins. That's no bueno. But 21 points for 21, or 13 against. That really doesn't matter. It's really just are you good at chewing clock? Are you good at managing the clock? Are you good at making it the last drive? That's the next level skill gap in this game. And like I said, this is my Super Bowl. As you see, I did take an L to Willie Pete. He flooded my shit. So shout out to Willie Pete. But I was running a new playbook in that game. It's whatever. Hopefully we get a sweat for you guys to watch today. So we are going to be playing Dre Superman. Um, don't haven't seen this tag on the boards or anything like that. Once more, we are on our Super Bowl. And the odds are he might be rocking a Pat's theme team. So, you know, Pat's theme team has been getting love as of late. You'd love to see it, you know. Don't got anything against the Pats. And it's a theme team I've rocked in the past. So, you know, always love seeing a lot of good theme teams rather than just Raiders, Raiders. And speaking of Raiders, we play the Giants this week. Obviously, some heartbreaking news. I'm not going to go into it because, you know, this isn't the place or time or channel for that type of stuff. But Rugs, man, that hurts because he was coming on. And obviously... Like I said, I'm not going to get into it. It hurts for the family, other family as well. And I'm going to just leave it at that. I'm not going to lie. It feels good to be back in a gun bunch offset um, form. 
as in, you know, I had been running a lot of Seattle before, and nothing wrong with Seattle, but I got way too uh, deep play dependent. And another playbook that I was also trying out was the Miami Dolphins offense. And that offense was, um, it was cool, but like I said, it just didn't have enough short plays. It didn't have flood. It didn't have a bench pivot. Um, I'm once more in the Colts. And I really wanted to test that deep bomb, but we're going to take our yards and get out of bounds. And I forgot, man. You know, this is a new patch. Let's see what the delay fade looks like now when you uh, put a delay fade. Some of you guys may have already seen it. Um, the same play art, but watch him. 3, 2, 1. Keep an eye on Jared Cook. He just sends out on his own. And, you know, I'm not going to lie. I do not like that because it looks like you could get really, like, some fluky pressure on a delay fade look. So... Best believe it's going to be a lot of block tight ends or just tight end flat routes. Uh, you know, tight end corners and all that could still stay. But, you know, it, I don't like the way that looked right there. So um, we're going to just throw this ball away. He's running a nice little match coverage shell. I'm going to put a streak on the field on the right and let it set. And I should have a wide open tight end route. But, yeah, man, like I said, if you've been running a lot of delay fades, probably just take it out. It's gone, you know. This, this just it's not a thing anymore um, and you know it's still gonna take a minute to you know settle in it's right here we got a little lucky right there um, I don't know how I feel about his man bumping my out route I like I said I probably had something else wide open too but that was a little close of a call um, just this, this year is pretty crazy with the bumps and all that type of stuff uh, for man for zone and the, also the other big part of the patch was the speed burst. Um, you know, he's been using his safety the most, time, most of the time. So, you know, he really couldn't speed burst up top before. But, you know, I, I just, when I get back on offense, it's going to hurt. I know it. Guys, let me know what bunch playbook you run if you run bunch. I want to see something. Um, you know, I just want to see what playbook is the move is right here. Risky read, not the read. And hopefully we could convert this. This is new. This is a spacing switch stock route. I've never seen this before, guys. Um, that's new for sure. Right here, low ball to Jared Cook. Easy peasy. And I really wish this guy wasn't running a lot of man-to-man -man coverage. Like, switch it up, bro. Like, he's running man and match. I'm trying to actually see some of these new routes and stuff like that. But look at that running back route, man. I'm, I really need to see. Like, hopefully I get time. Hopefully he doesn't guard it. I really need to see what it does. And it just stops. That was kind of underwhelming, honestly. I thought it was going to be like a glitch route or something. Uh, but this drive is taking way too long. Let's just score. You know, I was kind of just feeling it out, looking at how the game was looking like. Boom, easy flat to Jared Cook. I get a bad rack animation. That's tough. Guys, hopefully this worked. This is a new uh, red zone play I had been running. And he ran match again. It looks like we are going to go for it. This guy in his match is just like he's not giving me an inch. He's just running that match, 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 match. Guys, if you have a play for this, let me know what it is. Because my red zone, especially in Colts, is very, very bad. That's the whole reason I wanted to rock another playbook. But it is what it is. We are just going to freestyle this, man. And hopefully it works out for us is right here we are gonna have the out route wide open he bumped like 20 different times but there it is easy peasy dot thankfully he didn't send coverage and that drive took a whole quarter which could be a good thing sometimes and which could also be a bad thing um i really want to get back to my ways of just super high powered offense scoring when like within two minutes two and a half minutes per drive that'd be beautiful waiting for that playmaker waiting for that hot round master gunslinger qb so he's, the first thing you saw was obviously, you know, no more delay fades. Um, you saw what happened if you do put a delay fade on the field. He glitches out and like the pressure is insane. Like it looked like I was going to get screamed at. But here we go, man. Back in the 335 whistle. Uh, it's been a minute since, you know, I've kind of ran this for real. He's right here. He's going to run. And that's an issue. <sighs> Thank God he got tackled. But. That's going to be an issue now with no speed bursting. Uh, believe me, guys, that's going to be the number one issue without the speed burst. You know, it is what it is for the pass, you know, and having a good user for the pass. 
that's obviously gonna hurt not having that anymore but for the run oh my god it's gonna it's gonna hurt so much people like kind of don't even realize is right here i tried to speed burst and there was nothing there man uh just pour one out for the speed burst man but yeah man shooting the gaps required a literal speed burst guys is right here um he's gonna just throw the worst read ever i'll take it but oh my god it's gonna hurt not being able to slow down the run that's pretty much another reason of why people are going to run wide. Uh, wide obviously has uh, notorious for being able to stop the run. Um, even dating back to Madden 20, where, you know, you could literally, that was a run D for 10 cappers. So um, wide is definitely a great base to stop any type of shotgun runs, uh, audible down runs. The coverage is, honestly, I'll say the coverage out of wide is good, but the sheds and the pressure is the only like scary part in my opinion the pressure is you know not really the greatest or can, most consistent as right here we're gonna throw this nice easy read jerry rice baja touchdown so you know the pressure isn't as good as odd and dollar but you know the coverage is better i really just need my d-line cams to go and act up i'll find the best ones if i need to so you know the two big things um Speed bursting is insane, man. It's going to take... I'm still going to probably do it out of force of habit. But it's like... It's insane that it's gone. It should be, for sure. But, uh, man, it's going to take some time getting used to it. And then delay fades, it's whatever. You know, just don't put a delay fade on the field. Uh, I'm not, I wasn't really a def delay fade connoisseur, as some of these other guys are. It was cool to have and, you know, nice to throw in those rollout dots. But, you know, you don't need it. It's right here. Look at that, man. You can't speed burst the gap. You can't slow the run down. Uh, you're really going to have to just sell out to the run. As right here, I'm just going to shift. And how am I going to stop the run still? I don't know. Because you still can't speed burst. You're really just going to have to play contain. Because before, you know, I could speed burst right into the gap. Boom, sh shoot the gap. No yards for you. Now it's kind of like, you know, the gap is there, but I just can't accelerate and get to it. So we'll figure it out, guys. It's right here. Good run, good, good D. I clicked R3 because uh, I was just Josh Allen, man. Josh Allen on the run is wild. We're gonna send some heat right here, guys. Hopefully, you know it works out in our favor. Is right here. Uh, no pressure came in. That's another thing about odd. You have to really sit in the hole and really hover to get the best pressure guaranteed. And hopefully, guys, I'll have another gameplay playing someone in Seattle where I could, you know, showcase. And this is for a future YouTube video where I could showcase, you know, like the thirds are really, you know, not a thing anymore. It's right here. <sighs> Why did my vert hook match? No clue. This dude is a goon, though, jumping over my players. And maybe I do need hooks on like five, maybe ten. It's right here. There you go, Mike Haynes. Doing what he does. Five-yard vert. Ten-yard vert, excuse me. Acrobat. That was pretty nice right there. Right here. We don't need sideline dead eye for this. I was using it, but I took it off to put on identifier. If, if I start sailing throws with sideline data, without sideline data, then I'll definitely put it back on. But for now, I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue. Here's a nice little freestyle. I wouldn't consider it nice, but, you know, let's see if we could dot something up. And boom, another dot. Man's just running match every play. And if we score here, man, I'll cut to him um, playing offense one more time because... This game is pretty much GG's if we get seven. Looking for this tight end flat. So guys, definitely not the most exciting video, like I said. But trust me, th this Madden time, literally these next few days, I have some crazy content coming out. Uh, today's Thursday, then tomorrow is going to be Friday Night Football. I'll have some videos for you guys on that. For sure, we're back in F and F. Hopefully, we can make a run, get that first place prize. And then on Saturday, I will be streaming my quals for the wild card tournament. Um, this is the last tournament before LCQ, so you know I'm gonna be locked in, loaded. I'll be streaming that on Twitch, twitchtv backslash Come, t come through right there. Um, this is my first time in a minute gonna be streaming some type of comp besides like tourney games, like uh, Mutthead or whatever. And that'll be going on for Saturday and Sunday. Um, and then I'll be streaming Weekend League today and tomorrow along with FNF. So I got so many gameplays on the way. Hopefully we could go 25-0 this week. 
Uh, I think the morphs are out, thank God. Because I was very, very, you know, discombobulated with those morphed players. Another great thing about wide now is um, I really wasn't able to set up my defense. But uh, another great thing about wide now is that before in the first patch, you really couldn't like baseline press. You couldn't run cover three because, uh, you know, your third would get burnt off the line. Now you could actually manually move them back. They did a patch. I think it was not this patch. It was a patch prior to this where you could actually just manually back up your corners and all that good stuff. And that was really crucial and really key. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it for this video. That patch, like, I'm sorry it was an exciting gameplay, but you know, I, I, it was more of an informative gameplay. You know, I broke down like my ideas, what's going on. Um, hopefully you guys can take some of this knowledge into your own hands and you know glitch up he's running cover three right here hopefully i could you know try to show how the third zones are playing now um everything is open man like i don't even know that that's a 30 yard gain that had to have been deep halves no way it wasn't but I, then again i don't know if this guy even knows how to do that so he's right here he's gonna be running man we're gonna go up top and that's gonna mu pretty much end this game i'll catch you guys in the next video i'm telling you there's hell games hell content on the way this was more of an informative video. It could have been a good, better video, but it is what it is. The patch notes are in the bio in the description down below. Go ahead and check that out to read the info for yourself. Until next time, guys, I'm signing out on this flood. Your boy P is back. Let's start flooding these dudes like, like good times, like good old times.